and hundreds of Cuban Americans, political refugees and activists marched to the U.S. Capitol to protest against the Cuban government and its crackdown on anti-communist demonstrations earlier this month. Cubans from across the United States waving freedom signs and the Cuban and American flags gathered outside the White House. The protesters urged President Joe Biden to take action against the island's regime. Human rights groups accuse Cuba's rulers of using censorship and fear tactics to repress historic anti-government demonstrations, which have been the biggest protests since the revolution that brought Fidel Castro in power in 1959. I'm here today because our country has been suffering for 62 years. And we need this, I'm an American citizen, and we need this administration to recognize what's happening in Cuba. My country is not asking for food because we've been helping our families for all this time. We've been sending them food, medicine, everything that they need. Now what we want for them is freedom. On July 11, scores of demonstrations erupted at Cuba, triggered by economic strife, medical and food shortages and anger at the regime. Clashes with police left one person dead while the ensuing crackdown targeted hundreds of others. Some of the protesters were arrested and charged with contempt, public disorder, vandalism and negligent conduct during a pandemic. The march which ended at the Cuban embassy was planned for Cuba's Day of Revolution. It is a national holiday celebrating Fidel Castro's first attack against the Batista government. Several expats recall personal stories of repression inflicted by the Communist Party in Cuba. Amid the crackdown, internet blackouts had also made it difficult for families to stay in touch. Es el momento de que el mundo libre, la Unión Europea, el gobierno norteamericano, instituciones internacionales como la OEA, la ONU, quien sea, que se supone que están para defender las cosas buenas del mundo, la libertad y la democracia, se pongan del lado del pueblo cubano, un pueblo descalzo, con hambre, sin arma, pidiendo en las calles libertad. Están siendo arrestados, golpeados, torturados. Hay más de mil desaparecidos en Cuba, entre ellos mi hermano José Daniel Ferrer, Feli Navarro, Ángel Moya, otros tantos opositores y muchos de pueblo que no sabemos ni los nombres. The United States has voiced support for the Cuban people, imposing sanctions last week on Cuba's defense minister. Biden warned the sanctions will be just the beginning of measures against the Communist Party. The crisis in Cuba has divided the region. Dozens of Argentine demonstrators gathered outside the Cuban embassy in Buenos Aires to support to support the Cuba's socialist government. The demonstrations come amid the biggest unrest in the Caribbean nation in decades. Because Cuba, this heroic Cuba and its revolution, never... Viva el 26 de julio! Viva! Viva Fidel! In Mexico City, protesters gathered chanting and singing in Cuba's national anthem. They demanded an end to the embargo against Cuba. The Cuban ambassador in Mexico, Pedro Nunes, said Cuban families should also face fewer restrictions on receiving remittances. They've blamed the July protest mostly on what it calls U.S. finance counter-revolutionaries exploiting economic hardships caused by decades-old U.S. embargo. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.